Welcome back to the predictions and wishlist series for the Planet Zoo game. Today we will be covering our final Terrarian Reptile group, the Turtles and Tortoises. Constituting the smallest reptilian group, they are actually one of the more abundant and commonly found reptiles in zoos and wildlife parks across the world. For obvious reasons, we will not be covering sea turtles, which will be examined in a possible future marine video. These include the Chelonidae family and the Leatherback Sea Turtle. Some smaller tortoises will be covered in this video, but a majority of the larger ground tortoises, more suited to open air exhibits, have already been explored in our biome video, so I implore those who have not watched those to do so. So far at the date of making of this video, no turtle has been officially confirmed for Planet Zoo or even speculated, but it seems inevitable we will receive one sometime soon. All turtles are at least semi-aquatic. They are known for sporting streamlined shells and often have webbed or clawed feet to inhabit areas close to water, such as wetlands and riverine habitats. We begin with the Eastern Long Neck Turtle, also known as the Australian Snake Neck Turtle. Its long neck means it cannot pull it back into the shell, but rather bends and slots it to retract. Their aquatic features such as streamlined body and webbed feet provide popular attractions in aquariums and terrariums across many zoos worldwide, as well as the fact they are the most common captive turtle in Australia, rendering a possible feature. Occurring over the Orinoco and the northern Amazon basins, as well as several inland freshwater pockets in Brazil, the Mata Mata is an extremely distinctive turtle known for its morphology, its carapace is deeply notched whilst its head contains many protrusions. It is believed these allow the turtle to camouflage effectively, resembling the surrounding vegetation in its environment as it ambushes its prey, consisting mainly of fish and aquatic invertebrates. Difficult to obtain but very lucrative in the captive trade and for a zoological showcase, Matamatas represent a likely addition to the terrarium roster. Pig-nosed turtles are unlike any other species of freshwater turtle. Their feet have evolved into full-fledged flippers reminiscent of sea turtles. The shell is soft and leathery, whilst it pertains a distinct fleshy pig nose. Quite alarmingly, they are endangered, suffering from illegal collection due to its status as an exotic food source for Asian cuisines. A highly aggressive and territorial nature makes them unforgiving as a captive specimen. Despite this, they are considered highly lucrative and thus a likely inclusion. The most famous of the soft shells is the Chinese soft shell turtle, endemic to Chinese waterways. Their exact distribution is difficult to determine due to overlap with other soft shell species, its widespread usage as a food and medicine source, and its various introductions to other regions, not only in Asia, but also places as far as Hawaii, North America, and Europe. Despite being farmed extensively, it is believed their wild population is heavily threatened. As the world's most economically important turtle species, the Chinese soft shell turtle is ultimately a possibility. A particularly threatened species is the Yangtze giant softshell turtle, estimated to be the largest freshwater turtle on Earth. Historically ranging across China and Southeast Asia, the last remaining wild varieties are documented in select localities of the Red River in northern Vietnam. These turtles are believed to be extinct from China since 1998. Captive breeding programs have also been difficult, infertility the major issue. As of 2019, the species is functionally extinct as a whole due to possibly the last female of the species passing away without any offspring. As a result, the only captive specimen is a male situated in Suzhou Zoo, China. A fairly obscure turtle species and thus very unlikely, but its imminent extinction is perhaps worth a mention. The renowned common snapping turtle is the flagship variety of the snapping turtle family. Their powerful beak-shaped jaws deliver strong bites, and in most cases they are surprisingly the apex predators in freshwater environments across North America. This has allowed them to become successful and dominate many riverine or wetland habitats. Introductions into other parts of the world have further developed them into an invasive species. Regardless, the common snapping turtle will only be a slight possibility, outclassed by its own cousin, the alligator snapping turtle. Infamous for biting fingers off uncareful handlers, the alligator snapping turtle's carapace is more intensely notched, its coloration much darker, providing resemblances to its namesake. They are noted for their much more aggressive demeanor compared to common snapping turtles. However, it will usually only attack if provoked. 
It is rapidly establishing itself as an expected iconic turtle showcase at major zoos across the world. The unusual large head proportion of this turtle is the main highlight of this endangered species, inhabiting waterways of Southeast Asia. For these reasons, the big-headed turtle cannot retract its head into its carapace, preferring to defend itself with its sharp claws and beak. Currently, it is undergoing a major population decline due to over-harvesting as a food source. A relatively obscure species, however, that will only be unlikely. The distinguishing feature of this turtle is its knobbed protrusions emanating from its carapace, providing an aesthetically pleasing specimen for pet keepers and captive showcase. This turtle only exists within the Alabama River and Mobile Bay freshwater drainage system, and as such its sensitivity due to small distribution range is acute. However, most of this occurs over well-protected areas. Black knob map turtles represent a possible inclusion for its decent, albeit much more obscure, representation in captivity. A popular captive species is the spotted turtle. It is a small-sized, semi-aquatic variant that inhabits the eastern seaboard and Great Lakes region of North America. Spot variations are extremely varied, as individuals could have from a 100 spots to no spots at all. It is another possibility for the terrarium turtle roster. The wide-ranging and abundant European pond turtle is extremely prevalent as a pet, which makes it somewhat of a dark horse for inclusion in the terrarium roster. It has a poor showcase record in zoos, however, due to its uninteresting nature, so it should not be considered anything more than unlikely. Bog turtles are similarly very obscure. They are the smallest North American turtle, but perhaps the most threatened. Notable captive breeding programs have been initiated over the past 50 years to preserve the species. The wood turtle is a close relative that is almost equally as threatened. Both these turtles inhabit wetlands and riverine areas that complement their semi-aquatic lifestyle, as such are extremely sensitive to such issues as habitat loss, farm water runoff, road traffic and illegal capture for captivity. Both turtles are unlikely but would be considered interchangeable. Perhaps a more suitable North American turtle variety is the common box turtle. As their name suggests, their carapace is highly domed, reminiscent of more terrestrial tortoises. Common box turtles were once widespread across eastern North America, but in recent times populations are in decline due to a variety of factors. As official state reptiles of a number of states, and with reasonable representation in captivity, common box turtles represent a better possibility. Painted turtles are even more renowned over North America, prevalent in the pet market and in captive showcase. The painted turtles' drab and darker background colors are often contrasted with bold and striking reddish bands, constituting the species as one of the most recognizable and popular turtles in the world. Compared to some other turtles, the painted turtle's reliance on warmth makes it a specialized candidate for terrariums, ultimately a likely addition. Sometimes confused with the painted turtle is the red-eared slider, another widely distributed and abundant turtle. In fact, it is the most commonly traded turtle in the world, and has thus become the most popular pet turtle in the United States, with a strong representation in other parts of the world as well. Due to ease of acquisition, they often appear in many zoo terrariums, a distinct possibility behind the painted turtle. Moving on to tortoises, we already have two species confirmed for the game in the two giant islandic tortoises, the Galapagos and Aldabra. Some other large tortoises we have covered in the predictions and wishlist series in the biomes include the African spur tortoise or the Indian star tortoise. Tortoises are entirely terrestrial without the need to dwell or inhabit areas close to water. Compared to turtles, they often have more sturdy limbs, a higher domed and harder carapace, and enjoy much longer lifespans. All tortoises are within the Testudinidae family. The fourth largest tortoise in the world is also the next notable tortoise we have yet to cover in this series. Leopard tortoises inhabit scrublands and the savannah of Africa, whereas the African spur tortoise inhabits the Sahara and the Sahel. The leopard contrasts this distribution by inhabiting more temperate and less arid biomes. Despite its large size, it is often contained in terrariums, though much larger than what is currently shown in game. Its preference for grassland habitats allows a capable open air exhibit species as well, and therefore a likely alternative for a terrestrial tortoise variety. 
These two interchangeable species are part of the same genus as the Galapagos giant tortoises. As such, they are considered the smaller mainland cousins that shared common ancestors. In the wild, they inhabit a wide range of South American habitats, from open woodlands, shrublands to the dense Amazonian rainforest. Therefore, as such, they are popular in captivity and often prized terrarium candidates due to their humidity preferences. However, their taxonomy as close relatives of the already confirmed Galapagos tortoises will do no favours to their chances of inclusion, rated at a possibility. The recognisable pancake tortoise is named for its flat-shaped shell. A critically endangered species, it currently only exists within several isolated pockets in the Tanzanian and Kenyan highlands, where it has a tendency to prefer rocky outcrops where it can utilize its low profile to sneak into crevices and holes. This makes it an extremely viable terrarium animal, and thus a likely candidate, exemplified by its increasingly threatened status. Herman's tortoise is a recognizable Mediterranean species of small to medium size. Although its bright yellow blotches generally fade as individuals grow older, the tortoise has some examples in captivity. For European tortoise representation, it is noteworthy, but otherwise too unlikely and uninteresting. The speckled tortoise is an endangered species from Western South Africa, inhabiting rocky outcrops along the Kamisberger Highlands in the Namaqualand region. These tiny tortoises have had a surge of awareness in recent history due to their ongoing conservation program and have been introduced into many zoos across the world. Despite this, they are still relatively obscure and unlikely to be considered. The Asian forest tortoise or Asian giant tortoise is currently one of the most critically endangered tortoises in the world. Exceptionally large, it is by far the largest tortoise in Asia and usually considered the fourth largest tortoise in the world. These rare tortoises inhabit dense rainforest jungles in Southeast Asia, Sumatra and Borneo, where they have suffered extensively from habitat loss and capture for meat among other factors. It seems a plausible candidate for the terrarium roster, although its current lack of meaningful captive representation will not do it much favour. That ends our predictions and wish this video for turtles and tortoises. As we approach the beta of Planet Zoo and its inevitable release, I will call a finalization to this series as we have reached the end of the pre-release stage of Planet Zoo. The major animal groups I want to explore next, such as marine animals and aviary birds, seem to be absent from the release roster of the game, so they will make great DLC speculation videos after the game's release. For the rest of this month, I will be doing several live streams and videos to explore the Planet Zoo beta releasing on September 24th, as well as of course the end of the month September info dump. Details will be out soon for the live stream, I hope you guys join me there on Twitch, and if not, you can always catch a commentary overview release on YouTube later. Until then, we'll catch you guys.